And they're cool people. They are cool people. Now, maybe the thing that I've been hoping for every time I've come back. Finally, please. Why is nobody leaving me suggestions? Tragedy. What did you do? You can probably go talk to your detective, though. Yep, I'm on my way. Richmond, oh, tell man. me about the squirrel. Hi, from where squirrel facts? There you go. So, He's still the best. This is actually important. So, the forest outside of Green Hill is where you can actually recruit him if you don't recruit him nor uh, the way that I did. Mm -hmm. But sometimes visits Cario Town in Highland is obviously where you can also recruit him. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, now who do we investigate? Also, Someone you want oh to hi Shin. <laughs> What? How did he get here? Um, dog. Dog power. Yeah, fuck the crap out of him. Zamza is 300 for some reason. Then I think you have to do Zamza then. Millie is 200 for some reason? Let's see if there's I mean, anybody that's just... dog. <laughs> there's another secret for me. Hold up. Yeah, you gotta keep going. You just, you can't stop. It's for the 50 potch. They're all worth 50. He's the only person that is less than 100. I'm hoping that eventually he gives you the hint of where to recruit the other squirrels. Probably, yeah. Like, that's gotta happen. One thing I really like about the headquarters in this game is there are a bunch of people wandering around that aren't members of your Stars of Destiny. Yeah, it's really cool. It makes it seem much more like a, a city almost. Now, how do you say the name of the castle again? Grande. Okay, just checking. The second only to the other joke name of the big all in lowercase. <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't have been great, too. That would have actually been pretty darn good. Ah, oh, the big castle. Yeah, I know where that is. Oh, if you keep checking the suggestion box, it doesn't give you notes. But, like, I check it only whenever I come back to the castle. Alright, well, just wait a while before checking it next time. Alright. Oh, I didn't just grab Shin. No. No! <laughs> yeah, now is the perfect time for that kind of a thing to kick in. And we never see Nina again. Oh boy. My reaction to Shu. What does Nina do? Nina is combat. Nina is a combat unit. She's not the worst. Nina's... The only thing I like about Nina is that her weapon is the strap that she uses to hold her books together. Yep. She's actually a pretty decent mage. Mm. 
That's weird. Why are you? What? What's going on here? Why are you in my? You stop this. I just need to see that text box again. No, I don't have anything particular to talk about. I was just wondering what you were doing. What? What? All right. All right. Anyway. I guess I'm going to sleep now with Ellie in the room. That was a weird scene that didn't need to happen. What was that? Oh, it's random who wakes you up? Okay. Man, why wasn't it Bolgan? I remember this part. Is everybody ready for Joey's master play? Fuck yeah. And Lucas just loving it. By the way, Joey's idea pays off in one of like one of my favorite moments in the game. Oh yeah, he's actually a very calculating leader. Joey may be one of the best characters in this game. Yes. Joey pulls so many moves over the course of the game. Ellie, why are you still here? Who's on my balcony? Let's gonna do a little castle exploring. <gasps> the boy! The fast boy. Fast boy, stop by grandma. Grandma, the immovable force. <laughs> no, I wanna to talk to I wanna to talk to the strongest person. It is a beautiful flower. Clive, still just hanging out. Sure do have a person I should be hunting. Ooh boy, this is me on a roof. It's okay, I get a lot of target practice every time that uh, squirrel takes off. <laughs> Can't hit him though, it's too fast. Damn. One of these days. <laughs> She washed my bandana, Victor. She washed my bandana. <laughs> what a terrible crime? Never touch a man's bandana. <laughs> South window isn't destroyed? 
South window is extremely not destroyed. Eh, uh, details. I can walk in the south window. Oh boy. Yep, time to go to the asshole nights. All right, time to put together a team. Let's see. Hey, why don't we bring Shin? Sure, why not? Let's uh, all, a whole bunch of new people. Yeah, let's see who we haven't used yet. Have let's you see. used Clive? Very briefly, that was during a recruitment drive. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Clive will show up later. Don't worry about him. Who else can we use? Who who have you not used at all yet? Who have who have I not used? Wow, actually, Nina is in here. I was gonna make a joke. Have you used the robot yet? Yeah, Meg and Gadget are a very strong choice. Why not put in Meg, Gadget, and uh, Luke? Meg and Meg, who has a water rune? Sure. Luke. Oh, there's Nina. I see her. Nina doesn't. Nina doesn't exist. Nina, much like Sid, will never be put in our party. Oh, really? Okay. No, I refuse. Stallion. Okay. Stallion. Oh, uh, what about um Nanami? Oh yeah, we should probably bring Nanami. She is optional for this segment, though. You know what? Then don't bring her. Wait. I'm oh, actually I'm always a big fan of Wakaba, but you already used her. Yeah, Wakaba will show up later. Yeah, Nanami she she's good for now. Yeah, she's level thirty five. Um how about Rena then? We only had her for a little bit. Nah, Stallion. Oh Stallion, good call. I keep forgetting that you already said him. Yep. We'll have to do some rearranging a party. Oh absolutely. Gadget goes in the front row. Remember that Luke does go in the back, even though he's a short ranger. Yes, he has a pixie rune, though. He comes with one. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Uh, Victor, I'm pretty sure, will be forced to come along in a little bit. Yeah. There's a mission coming up where it's very, like, he has to come. And we'll take care of that when it happens. Yes. I think there's this storyline, there's another storyline coming up. Uh, well... Hmm. I think you can actually say no a bunch and she won't join you. Yeah, but then I feel like a dick. Oh, okay. Well. Goodbye, Stallion? Hmm. Mm. Or Shin? Hmm. Mm. Mm. Or, or Luke? I don't know. Hmm. It's a hard choice. You really don't have a magic user in the group. You might want to kick out Stallion. Uh, Meg. Meg's a good magic user? No. No. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> fine. I, yeah, I really think you should bring Luke. I'm sorry. It's fine. One day, Stallion will get his time to shine. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a quest, I think, of along the, the coming up in a bit that doesn't even have a boss on it. We might bring Stallion for that. It's a lot of walking. Yeah, as as being said in the uh, by the chat, a lot of people don't like Luke, but it's not because he's bad in combat. He's really good. He's just a dick.
Oh, right, I forgot that's the really annoying thing about item trading is that they have to be in your inventory. Yep. It's okay, you got enough gear to hit out, uh, uh, outfit this group up decently, I think. Yep. Let me check something here real quick. So Meg there is actually super good with a lightning rune or a wind rune, but you've got Luke, so give her a lightning rune. So this is the the one thing for as much as like worse off the. Uh... The, the whatever is the the storage mm -hmm. um equipping stuff from your inventory is just way better yes like this system is so much better anchovy pizza lucky what lucky ring lucky ring is extremely good holy crap mag i think she's got yeah she's got something staple to her that's just really really good <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, Luke's really not an asshole in this game, but I still remember him from my first game. Also, he is far and away the best spellcaster in the game. Like, he's that good. Rightfully so. I don't think anyone in your party can use shields currently, correct? Nope. Okay, what do we got here? Fire rune. I think it's a lot that I don't get. On who? What'd you say she was good with? Meg, she's really good with lightning and wind. Like, really good. I have all these, like, weird situational runes that I will never fucking use. Can you take the runes off the people that were previously in your party easily? We'll find out. Uh, there's a question from the chat if Newbie is planning on doing uh, Suikoden 3. Uh, it's possible I, I, I actually get this question a lot holy crap I love this I love how much the bar fills out um oh wow it really does uh, I've been thinking about it um oh you're right magic drain on Rio wouldn't be bad does that go on a weapon uh it might actually I don't know we'll have to check yeah if I can get a good ps2 emulator I might yeah, there's your rune shop right there, so let's see oh, if you yes. can get Magic Drain yes. on. Yes! God, the shops are so much better in this one! That, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, take the Tengar rune. I, can you take Thunder from anybody else? I can take it from Flick, but... That's okay. Oh, wow, Shin is a... Oh, Shin has, Shin has a rune. Shin's got some sort of fighting rune. Yeah, I could just buy another one. It's only 6k. Oh, if you can just buy one from her? Then do it. Yeah, no, that's why I've been looking at every rune shop. Yeah, buy a lightning rune. That's fine. And you'll have one of each then. That, or a, sp a couple spares of each. Hmm. See, the only thing that they could do to make all the storage system and everything a little bit better is just give allow me to store stuff from shops that That's magic drain can you put that on um oh is it a weapon only thing or can you put it on the main character weapon drain is or magic drain the magic drain yeah yeah, yeah. uh i'll go check I'll, t I'll take it out of the the inventory also you can also put another rune on uh luke he can use three yeah i just don't know what else to put on him Give him fire. Huh, all right. It'll make it so that uh, the the dead levels on win, which I think there's only one, he at least has something else he can do with those levels. Uh, you you give win too much credit. Win has a lot of dead levels. All right, there you go. It gives him a yeah, lot of magic. Magic Rain is a weapon rune. Okay, that's a shame. I wouldn't mind putting that on on him. Well, but who's going to get the... Uh, hit minus 15. Mm -hmm. You got to put the friendship rune on him, though. Yeah. I'm going to keep the viper rune on me, just so I can slap that on somebody at some point. 
yeah, the hit minus 15% I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, I could put it on Luke. Put up what on him? Magic Drain. The level 1 uh, wind isn't that useful, though. Level 1 fire. But then he'd have to take Pixie off. Mm. Oh, no, it's on the weapon. Yeah, Excuse exactly. Me. Yeah, good call. Yep, do it. Mm, I'll hold on to this poison rune, too. I'll slap that on somebody at some point. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, go put that fire on Luke, and then I think you're good to go. Oh, wait. Luke's got a pixie rune, guys. Yeah, pixie rune lets you do normal attack from back row. That's why it would work. If you're willing to have him just... Sit, I mean, he's not going to do any kind of damage at all from the back row. Because he's he is not a fighter. <laughs> right, but there will be encounters where it's like, eh, this isn't worth it. Like, it's not worth it to go through the... Oh, that's right, it does get a little bit of his magic stat along with it. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it works out. Um, I think you need to go find. Yeah, it's just not the right way. <laughs> I had a brain fart for a moment there. That's fine. I think you need to find a blacksmith to uh, at least hone up some people's weapons and finally slap some runes on people. Yeah, we'll go to the the town nearby. Otherwise, we're not going to run into a blacksmith for a bit. Yeah, it's better just to take care of it right now. Yep. Um. Anyway, to finally. And yeah, we'll find out if it triggers with the pixie rune. We're not using that rune on anybody else anyway. Yeah, um, we can take it off if it doesn't work. Yep. Yeah, how is... Oh, no, we're right, right. The reason I can't slap it on him is because he has a rune. God, I keep forgetting. I was like, how is Shin not a one-handed sword user? Um, question was, would I be playing the other games in the series? Oh! Oh! This blacksmith got better. Oh, can he finally get... Yeah, I think he can finally go up to like 11 now. Yeah, it's just... It's money. I'll wait for a bit. Um... Would it be playing... God, let me finish this fucking thought. Would it be playing 3, so on and so forth, the higher, higher up games? Um... If I can get an emulator working... Extremely. Mm. I, I like I like three, and then at that point I'm kind of in there. We we can make fun of four for a couple hours. Um. Wow, it really costs nothing to attach runes to weapons. Yeah, it's like a hundred or something. That's real stupid. Watch this shit. Friendship. Yay! Now, now he has a tarantula sword. Um, I, I'm sorry, newbie. If you play four, I am not coming along for that ride. That's fine. I can hoot and holler about four forever. Um, but yeah, no. I like the series. Nice. I can keep going. Just like if you said you're gonna play the after years of Final Fantasy IV, it's like that's great. I'm I'm sorry, but no. That's fair. Also, thanks for the host, Loon. Where could my boat be? Yeah, four is the first one chronologically in the series of the game. It's like two hundred something years in the past. Four is the game that they need to exist. Yeah, and then five is like five or six years before one, and then. Uh, it's one, which goes on for like two years in game time. And then it's two is like three years after one. And then three is 15 or so years after two. Yes. Something like that. Um, it, like, it, uh, I literally say that and I mean that 200, yeah, 200, 20 years before one is five. Yeah. No, no, there's no way that's true. Because characters from 5 show up in 1 and they're not that much older. Hmm. Yeah, may maybe 20 is a bit much. Um. But anyway. The big thing uh, is, like, when I say that 4 didn't need to exist, 
I don't even mean that, like, you know, it's a bad game. You toss out, like, even if it was a good game, like, 4 really didn't need to exist. The whole thing that's great about Suikiden is that the games are so connected to each other in a way. Mm hmm. Like, mind you, the stories are pretty. You know, on their own and can survive on their own, but, like, you see recurring characters, you see all that stuff, so on and so forth. And. If we count the two the two characters that are fucking removed from time then time. Yeah, then like Oh fuck. That's a lot of money. For what oh that silver hat ooh. That is a lot of money. Eh, go for it. Alright. Um, like, aside from the characters removed space from space and time, or if you count those those characters, there are three reoccurring characters in four, which is like, oh, huh, um, hmm, ooh, <laughs> like looking at my one, no, oh, look at the time, oh boy. Yeah. I really don't have any investment. There is some... Points that are set up in four that are kind of nodded to in five by a couple characters in there that are from roughly the same realm that the, the place we're forced to, uh, sets up in, but for the most part, it's not really worth it. Yes, no, I guess that it. Yeah, the the fourth reoccurring character, the origin of Starheim Weinbach, which is just amazing. Storm warning. Explosion. Be gone. Ah, fuck it. I just remember they give like no money, no experience. Yep. Alright, see, uh, yeah, the Nami talks during this. I would feel bad if I didn't bring the Nami. I might have been wrong about this being a part that she can't come along for. It might be one of those things that she says, like, uh, but thou must. Yes, I understand. You may pass. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> it's, it's cool that we're on the same page here. Thank you. Hello. Hi, random person in the woods. Yup. Okay. Later. I'm trying to figure out what exactly he's wearing there. Like a turban. Ooh. What does a guard ring do? Guard ring is magic defense. Nice. Slap that on the back row boy that doesn't have any armor. Whoops, I forgot something to, to get for... Uh... Oh, oh, for Luke? Yeah, oh, he has a speed ring. That's fine. But yeah, you don't need to make medicine. We'll give you that boulder wrath. We have to look at that side of things. I think Luke is actually kind of under level compared to everybody else in the group, but he should get catch up pretty quickly. Yeah, if we're not fighting Holly, Holly boys. Yeah. Actually, he's not that far behind. And anymore. that loops around. Cool. <laughs> Hello again. Goodbye. Hello and goodbye. Three times damage can only be used once. I could anni annihilate a Holly boy. <laughs> But why do that? When? Cause gadget damage to all enemies. Here we go. It's time. I'm not sure what gadget damage means, but... Yeah, it's probably just gadget's normal attack to everything. Or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm horrified. Sense. Luke is good at magic! 
Lose at 11. Yeah. Oh, these guys have health. And is his rune inflicts that now? It does things. All right, let's see uh, Spider Slay. Yeah, just attack is just a lariat. Nice. The strongest lariat. Oh yeah, you can just keep using that rune over and over and over again, I think. Or, not rune, but that uh, United combination United. over and over and over again, right? Yep. Oh, look at that damage. From your crit, from your auto attacks. Oh. Yeah, uh, Spider Slay is pretty okay. Well, it's times three damage. Was that eight slashes? I... I tried to count it, but I wasn't sure if that one of them I was. I stopped paying attention. <laughs> that, went, that went on for a while. <laughs> the boulder set. Take a bath with it. We've also, got it. really funny, he did that times three damage. Your main character did a crit and dealt more damage. Okay, I bet you he would do more damage with a crit. Very true. Actually, no. I take everything back forever. His strength is actually surprisingly low for somebody who's just supposed to be, you know, the melee boy. He's got tech. Yeah. Well, the main character. <laughs> I know. I'm just trying to figure out what the heck. Meanwhile, going. Gadget. Oh. <laughs> Gadget's Gadget. Protect 242. Ah. Um, okay, I did go this way. Yeah, you might be right about the, the Pixie Rune not triggering Magic Drain because it's a Command Rune. Oh, oh, well. Yeah, what was I going to do with that? Like, yeah, there is the suggestion of put it on the main character, but then the main character can miss, and the main character is actually pretty good at melee. And having the Friendship Rune on the main character means the main character is getting the most out of those two hits. Yeah, actually, that's why the main character is doing so much more damage. Yes. Because they have an extra, like, plus 35 attack on their weapon right now. Yep, those are zombie slugs, all right. I was actually looking at it, figuring, what the heck is that? Wait zombie a minute. slug. What? Actually, it might have restored his uses. Did he have eight or seven flaming arrows? I think arrows? he actually had eight. Okay. Dude's got a lot of magic. I'm actually surprised he doesn't have a third use of his level 3 and a second use of his level 4 yet. Oh, yeah. noted. I need to stay in an end sometime soon. Probably, yeah. is very strong. Oh, you know what it is? He, he leveled up a bunch and probably got another spell slot. Oh, that, that, that is probably true, yeah. How do I get to the goodie? Release the goodie to me. One of those fucking, long walk rounds. Fucking mega medicine. Extremely not even worth it. Like, why would I not use the Spider Slave Rune? It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. I feel like these things might be resistant to fire, but fuck it. Well, they are zombies. Oops. Uh, do levels of characters actually affect mass battles? I don't know, actually. Nope, they're pretty resistant to fire. Huh. Luke only did 50 damage to fire. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um... Okay, that was them attacking. I was like, was that gadget's attack? 
Nope, that was Gadget's attack. <gasps> what? Yes. 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 Beef. Oh, you got a recipe. Okay. Beef acquired. I don't know if I'd trust a recipe I picked up from some zombie skel or skeleton slugs. Eh, I can go wrong. Slugitons. So many things. Skel oh! <laughs> She's here. Go right over there. <gasps> She's here. She's here. Can I even go back? Hmm. Please stay at my house. Yes, please. Cute girl, you, of course. Literally straight out of Suikoden 1, she is still eating. That's that's the joke with Vicky. Just in constant shock. No, she. Tr all right. So remember how we were talking about how weirdly out of order all the games are. Mm -hmm. Vicky progresses through the games in chronological order. Or in, in no, sorry, in release in order. order. In, in series <laughs> in order. Series yes. order. Yeah. Huh. So she goes from one to two, yeah, and she's one of the other characters that is in all five games. So she goes from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. Mm, go on ahead. Yeah, she's actually a... Oh, she's a great mage. And she actually has a uh, unique rune. Uh, she's, she's a wild card mage. Yeah, she's chaos magic. Mm -hmm. So the best mage. See, the thing is, Vicky actually has an E in every magic type. So there's a 20% chance it backfires. However, she's got just, I think, almost as much magic as Luck does. Maybe more. But it's, it's. do you want to roll the dice? Yes. Always. My soul. <laughs> Your robot's almost dead. <laughs> yeah, he, he's getting messed up. I don't I hit... think he has that high magic defense, and those guys are hitting his magic defense. Uh, you would be accurate. He is a tank. Yeah. If it's a he's tank. a barrel. And also a barrel, yes. Technicalities. Actually, his magic defense isn't that horrible. It's just that those things hit really hard. Um. What's up? Oh wow! Yeah, his is. Higher than Shin's, actually. That's the downside of Shin. Shin has fuck all for defenses. Yeah. But he hits like a truck, so it's alright. That was the right way to go. What's on the wrong path? Treasure. <gasps> They're here! More recipes? Possibility. Oh no. Oh no. Don't fuck please. with elves. Yeah, I was about to say, please blow them up. Please blow them up. Do not suffer an elf. Canopy of Defense has a really good animation. Absolutely. Also, oh, it has that. Right, 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 right. I'm thinking of a different enemy. These boys give you sound settings. Wait, sound settings? Yes. Uh, so there are there's a character in each game that is a musician, and another one that really likes Windows. And uh, so you're seeing the the danger of elves currently. Uh, the one that likes the, the one that is a musician you can give sound settings to and can change your uh, 
you, the noises that your menus make, and oh, the one okay. that likes windows uh, changes what your window design is. Oh, okay, they also drop a recipe, so they drop multiple things. I was like, you have to unlock playing in stereo sound? But that makes much more sense. <gasps> Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! We're huge! Those elves also drop a boatload of pahach. Ooh! I saw this ancient te text in my inventory. <laughs> Whoops. Should use up some medicine. Absolutely. That's what you, that's what you got it for. Yeah, that dragon armor is really good. It's kind of late game armor. Not late late game, but you know what I mean. And that'll hold you over for a long time. Yes. Dragon armor is extremely powerful. Shoot, you picked up the silver helm and the dragon armor. I don't think Ryu's gonna die anytime soon, because he's wearing both of those, right? Gotta keep our healer alive. Yes. Good call. Uh, the silver helm is less. The silver just regens five. It's like having an earth rune. But the helmet itself is very strong. Yes. Five HP is... Fucking nice. what? Are you kidding me? Do you get another recipe? A thunder amulet. Interesting. Never die fire shout. Oh my boy. And you gotta give that fire emblem to somebody. And this little game is just worse. Yeah. No, that's that was a good call. There we go. Yeah, I can no longer seal the dragon, but the dragon is now in my armor, so it's alright. It's okay, we gave it to Shin. He's a Myrmidon. Extremely accurate. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that move just hits really hard because it hit Ryo, Ryo for 130. And he has all the defense. Man, I'm just stoked that we have Vicky finally. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is the latest you get Vicky in any of the games. I think. Pretty sure about that. About yeah, they just make certain. you make this run one too many times. Hey, I remember this guy. Iklatov. Yeah, this was the one that wasn't an asshole. Allow me to escort you to the castle. I'm good. No, really, I'm good. And I'm good. Please? And I'm good. And you, god damn it. You want to go to the end, don't you? I want to go anywhere other than here. Oh well. Well, I guess I'll explore. Yep, welcome to Ryhax. The, uh, the Three Knight Kingdom. There are blue knights, there are red knights, and there are white knights. Hmm, warrior tactics, huh? Got any of them books? And still dick. Nope, that's a good reaction. Oh boy, who's a dick? This guy's a dick. No, I... I will not. 
He's just trying to get a rise out of you. And he will. Yep. Well, that was a good side quest. Please need to sleep here with your boy, your small girl, I guess your escort, and your barrel. <laughs> yeah, we got Vicky! We have a teleporter mage, who cares? Yeah, it feels like Nanami might have been actually forced into this. Yep. I, I I think I'm thinking of a different section that you can actually get away with ha not having her there. Let's look around. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Hmm, excuse me. Hey guys. If I may be blunt, we all want to fight Highland, but fucking okay, go on. You you asked permission to be blunt and then didn't finish your statement. Nah, that's the that's the guest the guest party room. I'm looking for books. I'm interested in books. I don't know if we can actually walk out to the town. Huh. No actual point to walking around. There's no cutscenes or anything. I think you get different dialogue from the knights and that's about it. Probably. Because they're like, oh, they got massively turned down, didn't they? Yep. Uh, it's supposed to be... So, the whole thing, I believe... Ooh. Hello, mysterious lady. The whole thing, I believe, in my understanding of how uh, Matilda... Uh, works is that it's supposed to be a like sort of the three knights work in unison but Gerudo has sort of taken over and being the head knight and just sort of commands everyone I not think you have anybody a rune in this one. We walked. Like, we, you don't meet like that until you get your fort. We we stumbled upon the runes. Like that never gives somebody a rune. She guides the way, kind of, sort of, and that's about it. Yeah. She usually doesn't show up until the rune bearer actually has a base and has deci decided to fight back. And then she shows up with, well, you've made the decision. Uh, here's your stone, and I'll be on my way. Yep. <laughs> here's your name stone, and gotta go.
Yeah. Well, t to be fair, Lechna did give us a very powerful rune. It just happens to be attached to uh, Luke. Yeah. I always see it more as, like, if, if Lechna was a god, she's the god of fate. Like, she doesn't interfere most of the time. She literally just shows up and, like, gives advice. And just says, mm -hmm. you know, you should probably do this, and then leaves. I, again, in none of the games does Lechna ever give somebody a rune. Like, she sees... Like, she literally comes forward and says, there are going to be a lot of fights upcoming. Like, she comes forward and just says, like, I know the future. I am just guiding you down the path. The only time that she has actually fully interfered, she literally said, I can only do this once. And that was uh, saving Gremio. She also helped a little bit against in the final war battle and won. Did she? Oh, yeah, she, she did. She, she all the, uh, All right, monsters. I take it back. <laughs> Fuck it, I take everything back. She's a dick. Yes, uh, like now it helps out a lot more in one because she her runes directly tied to uh, Wendy's rune, mm -hmm. but she doesn't do so much in the other games. I guess maybe she that's why she stuff, but she would interact more in one is because ah, this is my fault. This is my problem. Fuck ah, piss. Yeah, it's my anyway. Sister. Border problems yep uh, every rune is a fragment of another rune the true runes are a fragment of the first rune and every other rune is a fragment of a true rune the blue gate rune is a fragment of the gate rune I think every weapon rune is supposed to be a fragment of the conqueror rune Yeah, the book in... Well, I mean, the whole reason that the book in 3 goes into the creation myth is because the story of 3, more than probably any of the other stories, really deals with true runes and what they are. Yep. Uh, it's... Uh, why are people fleeing Muse now? It's probably a ploy... They're probably trying to get the, uh... The, uh... They're, try they're probably trying to get Matilda to mobilize. We'll see how this works out. Oh, shit. I think we're going to a war fight. Let me just slap a save state down here. I'll be damned. Oh, I, we might not even get. I think I know where where this goes. Yep. Imagine if there was a Fire Emblem fight that was just, you lose. Oh wait, one of them actually does that, does it? Yeah. Wow, look at that, that one, that unit, 
promote that man if he survives. Probabilities of those refugees doing any damage is so vanishingly low. I wonder what happened if you say, I'm not going. I think you just watch this without you doing anything. Gerudo. Fuck it, no. Always remember number one. There's the line right there. Not only is it always remember number one, it's let nobody pass the border, not even the refugees. What? Yeah, the refugees have one attack and zero defense. Fuck it, I'll save them. I'll get over there. Seriously, promote that man. Promote that unit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're invincible. My God. <laughs> the most powerful. This is getting a little ridiculous. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Finally, they gave up the ghost. Maybe stop breaking the game. Notice that Luca Blight's army has an attack power of 18 and a defense of 17. And it's just him! It's just him. He it's, is that good. It's just Luca Blight! Meanwhile, Joey's group has three people and it's like 1311. Yeah, and Kiba's just has huge defense because his son is a strategist, not an attacker. Like, yeah, let's, let's let's look at a couple people real fast, just to get an idea. So, the normal the normal men are 8, 8 and 5. They're pretty okay. Uh, the White Wolf Army, which are Luka Blight's direct men, yeah, are 10 and 7. Yeah, that's personal guard. Yeah, as stated, Joey with Kulga and Seed, Kulgan, uh, are 13 and 11. Luka is 18 17, and Kiba is 7 16. Back on the other side. Matilda is actually pretty weak. They're 7 4. They probably couldn't hold up a fight if Highland got through. Miklatov and Camus uh, are pretty okay. Miklatov is more based towards attack. Camus is uh, more balanced. And Gerudo could probably take on a couple units himself, but if Luca Blight got to him, he'd be in a bad situation. What is what is Kiba's son name? I can never remember. Uh, that'll come to me in a couple minutes. <laughs> Hold up, I'm uh, searching my memory. Claws. Thank you. There we go. Yeah. Uh, sorry. A they, lot of those things where it says the refugees are talking, it's I think it's supposed to be the knights are talking, like the random yeah. knights on the border. strategically actually not a bad move because that was the point I was trying to make there is that if the Matilda Knights actually engaged with that fight they would have lost yeah but yeah Gerudo 
maybe a bit more extreme than proper. Yeah, they. It. I don't think it's really 100% spoilers, but yeah, that's the best thing about Luca Blight is he's just a dude. A really strong dude. We're going to Muse. I think Luke is supposed to be easily like 6'6 six, six plus and just this huge man who can move around in full plate like it's nothing and is an absolute peerless swordsman. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's a big thing to note, uh, especially just like art and everything. Um, whenever they show most soldiers, they are wearing like a chest piece and they usually have like cloth pants or leather or something like that. Uh, Luca is full on wearing full plate armor, 100%. He is a huge fucking dude. That takes like an absurd amount of strength to be like walking around and stuff in full plate, so it's something you pretty much have to be trained for from a very early age. Mm -hmm. Full uh full plate armor actually well made full plate armor, you know, we put a specification on that. Is actually a lot easier to move around than people give it credit for, but you have to be constantly wearing it because your body has to condition to it. Appraise this recipe. Might go offload a couple medicines in a shop. Any recruiting right now? I don't think so. Hold up. No, I have the I have books. Please. <laughs> we need to head to the uh, highway wheelage at some point. You just call it wheelage? I did. Oh wow, this... I forgot, this town has multiple screens. Like the uh, the blue the blue knights here, and pretty much the knights in Matilda overall are wearing like a chess piece, and then they have cloth over them. They're pretty much just wearing a breastplate. Yeah. They protect the good bits. Yeah, and that's about it. They're pretty much wearing a chest plate, probably uh, stuff on their le uh, legs and arms, but not full coverage. Circlets for head protection. Like yeah. Kind of, kind of a not. I, I, I think I read this somewhere. Almost on. Oh, baby. Did you go to? Yeah, you went to the armor shop. Yeah, I was gonna point that one out. That's got to be some sort of an accessory. that do just good defense mm. I guess <laughs> I know I just who to put it on I'm gonna slap it on Shin he's in the front row yeah I was gonna say Shin sell that cape I don't need it those are the bad rare drops what are the good ones I can buy it oh my god I can buy multiple eh you can buy two more but I, let's check out the other shop first. You, get, you got a lot of money. I know. Give me a moment. Oh, I got these leather capes that I can finally get rid of. Alright, now I'm good. Thunder Runner, though. <laughs> How about Thunder Runner? Nope. I'm good. I'm gonna finally get rid of an escape talisman. What does the shop just regularly sell here? Because you went straight to the rare uh, sells. I didn't see what the regular stuff was. Get in there. 
I was, I'm just curious. There we go. That pudding. That would be great. And I'll keep the French toast. All right, what do you got? Uh, nothing fantastic. All right. I did not think so. I'm more curious about what this armor shop's got. Headgear, half plate, scale mail. Yeah, it's all right. Gauntlet, no, no. guard rings. Hmm. Hmm. So, since someone in the chat seems to know that there's some good stuff, rare stuff that could pop up, what what could they be? I'm actually gonna hold off on buying that scam now. Good because uh, because of the it. thing that I know that's coming out. Yeah. But now we have that scale mail. Wait, what? I thought you didn't buy the scale mail. No, no, no. We have it in our uh, our shop oh, inventory. Shop inventory. There you go. Sorry, I cut off mid-sentence because that guy stopped me from going downstairs and I was a little confused. Okay, sorry. Oh, did that actually refill my spell slots? Of course it didn't. Of course, I slept overnight, story-wise, and didn't get my spell slots. Well, then go to the end. Ooh. Did you notice what Ryu has a level 4 of? Uh, or actually, excuse me, that Ryu actually has a level 4 spell slot? What the? Yeah. It's time to show that sucker off. Who is that guy? Yeah, let's show okay. off his level... Yeah, okay, yeah, no, agreed. Let me show off his level 4 spell. And, uh... What the? What? A recruitable. But not yet. No, not yet. Huh. I wonder if... Go on. I thought that person is... Oh, okay. Uh, you can actually recruit him via using the Matilda trick earlier. Yep. He's probably locked out currently. Yeah. But we're free! Is this? That music different? I have no idea. New friends. No, we haven't done in a while. We haven't rolled the dice. By using the United Tech? Yeah, okay. Hell yeah. Yeah, let me just look at my list here. Yeah, I think it's Long Chan. Yeah. He does a job for quite a bit. It's weird, though, because I think if you have the person who recruits him, they might have something to say there, but I didn't know he was there. Um, yeah, there's going to be a bit of uh, four stuff, and then a whole lot of... Uh, recruiting. Yeah, recruitment. Huh. Fun fact. Um... Oh, no. Never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm reading that wrong. Nope, we're good. Okay. Ah, oh, the map music is different. Here, in other town. Do you enjoy ancient texts? Oh. Uh, apparently the walkthrough says that the uh, guy there is only there if the person you can recruit him with isn't in your party. Uh, so, shrug. We can buy gold. No. <laughs> All of our money for a gold bar. Another town that might have interesting stuff in it. 
What do you got for me in the rare finds? Rapid plans too. Yes. Give me that. Nah, this town just sells fire emblems. Huh. That's neat. We have a lot of stuff to offload once we get back. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kent. Kent's goofing off again. Are you Kent? Huh. Oh. A Dragon Knight, huh? Dragon Knights are a myth. Yeah, I got the alternate animation for the United Attack, like, on the third attempt, and then got it, like, five times in a row. You got it quite a few times in a row, and it was depressing. And got hysterical. me a cow. Hello, ma'am. Ah, it's a knight, knight's home. Probably one of the Matilda Knights. Hello. Hello, familiar face. Yeah, I don't know who you're talking about. No, this is fine. I like looking at the wall. I love the wall. I mean, there's probably like a window that you can't see, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> No, they're heading for Harmonia. Humphrey, man a few words. Watch the Dragoon. All this time, Humphrey is just having a stare down in the 3 0. <laughs> yeah, here's a scale for my dead best friend. Fuck. I want to give the joke. Hold up, I know it, do. Your friend of mine, the safe state. <laughs> I might actually replay this conversation a couple of times. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, you sure about that one? <laughs> uh -huh. oh. Don't even reload. Don't even reload. That's too perfect. Just keep going. <laughs> we have come Doesn't to an understanding. social link went up. Uh... The joke there for everyone. Does Humphrey even respond on the other ones? He probably says very little, if at all. I kind hey, of... there's a dog! <gasps> it's the dog! Hold up. I, I, I just... I'm morbidly curious. I just need to know if he actually says something. Go for it. Barely. Okay, hold up. Now for the first off. Oh, wrong one. This is priceless. There are only three options that will actually get words out of Humphrey. Out of nine. Wait, what dog are you talking about? Go back up the stairs. <gasps> Is Dr. Dog up there? Yes! Dr. Look dog, the dog dapper got dog. there. He's so dapper. Is there like... A whole bunch of Dr. Dogs, or is this just one Dr. Dog roaming the world? I like to think it's the same Dr. Dog. Yeah, I corrected the timeline. <sighs> now, see, the, the real hard decision of this video is coming up extremely soon. Go on. Oh, we'll see. And my wife's brother said he saw a dragon shadow in the clouds. There's dragons in the mountains. There's dragon and then there's hills. The mountains full of monsters, kid. What are you doing? Oh, come back. <laughs> oh, shoot. Ken is one of those characters that are just too dumb to live. I'm a little worried. Okay. Fudge the mountains! Fudge, you went to the mountains! Fudge, no! Okay, I, the, the story beats have lost me. Do I go to the dungeon now? I, maybe go talk to Kent's... F I have no idea. It's been a while, man. Yeah, no, it's fair. Kent's been goofing off. Kent, rock, rock, Kent, Kent. They'll probably join up if you go to the mountain itself. Kent, what if I talk to the farmer, man? Is that the right farmer? Yeah, probably. Ooh, those moments where you actually notice the disc is loading a bit. Mm hmm. Can't escape! My god. Yeah, and then we see what happens when something physical tries to attack Gadget. One. 
man. Check out those beards on those birds. I don't even want to know. More bad men await oh, you. You need to talk to the innkeeper. You need to talk to the innkeeper. You need to talk to the innkeeper. I'll say oh. it three times just to make sure it happens. Yeah. Those aren't bad men. Those are phantom. We can save ourselves a lot of time. We can just do reload the save state. Yep. Crazy man, you. Yeah. Let's be honest here, I would have to walk all the way back. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, so uh walk outside then walk back inside, I think. Actually I actually have to talk to Humphrey. Ah, fair enough. Yep, you actually have to talk to Humphrey. Alright, let's just do my uh my cool trick that I know of. Is it pressing the fast forward button? Oh, uh, also holding down cancel, just progress through text. Oh, yeah. And talk to the innkeeper? What? I guess we're sleeping another night. So she's, uh. Well, it was forced, so we had to do that. Yeah. Probably to be like, oh no, Kent hasn't come back. Kent's gone, but what about the people's hero, Heath? No, no. Heath's... Heath's never coming back, folks. Oof, uh... What made this all happen? Yeah, it's really all Fudge's fault. <laughs> who who are you even? <laughs> this Mr. Beyond, Sir Humphrey's new friend. Humphrey has <laughs> I was I was making the joke and Fudge beat me to it. This would make a lot more sense if either Flick or Victor were along for this, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, no, like... You say wow, but that's extremely fair for Futch. Like, no, Futch is 100% accurate. So here's the difficult decision of... Who, who do, do we boot? kick out? Do you want my opinion? Um... I mean, it's Shin, Gadget, or Meg, but it's what combination of the two, and I feel like Gadget and Meg have to kind of go hand in hand here. Yeah, and if you you got to get rid of two of those three because you got you should really bring Luke to the next section. So it's probably Gadget and Meg. Yeah, because I think that um, well, no matter what, even if they're both uh, short range, you can just put Ryu in the back. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Fletch is always medium range. I forgot, because he wasn't in the first game as a playable fighter type. No, he was medium in the first game. You could use Futch in the first game? I thought you could only use the other two, uh, the other Dragonite girl. Nope. Futch was playable. Oh, shows what I know. Alright, so. Uh, there is an extra thing that you could have done in the first game to have mm -hmm. Humphrey come in with, like... Windspun armor or something like yeah, that. Yeah, windspun armor. He still comes in with knight armor. Which is really, really, really good. Yeah, oh boy, he has gauntlets and boots. Who cares? He has fucking knight armor. Yeah. Uh, Fletch, on the other hand, while he can use a, he's one of the few shield users, uh, comes with fucking leather armor and a circlet, which makes sense for, like, what his character is wearing. Yep. But, who oh boy, he isn't going to stay around too long. That's why you put him in the back row. 
Yep. And... But his gear is locked. His actual, like, gear gear is locked because they're not actually in the party right now. Yep. Which is unfortunate because I actually have a health, half helm and chain armor that I could just slap on him. Yeah. Do they come with runes? I don't think so. Uh, Humphrey has a killer rune. Yes. Probably because I slapped one on him in the first game. We did not equip him with the windspun armor. That was a mistake on our parts. Yeah. Mainly because I totally forgot it was a thing. I read about it after the fact, and eh, to be honest, whatever. Who cares? Also, it, is, it might be time to split video. Yeah, I'm thinking or call about it. that. Yeah, this might be a call it. Yeah, next time it's, you know, we go find Kent. After we left him on a mountain for a week or two. Yep, I'm just fixing some minor stuff on our two new boys, because I can buy them accessories. Yeah, they both get a Fire Emblem, it's fine. Let's get to that dungeon. It's really hard to just not make constant Fire Emblem jokes with those things. It's Yeah, it's really hard. It's just... Wow. So, our two new boys. Actually, do not have Unite Attack. Interesting. I thought they would have. Uh, Fudge is a weird character because he's just a melee boy. But he's a little squishy. Not quite as squishy as he was in the first game because he has grown a bit. Oh, did the patch add Rune Inherent and stuff? Then yes, go ahead and explain it. Fudge is a bad spellcaster, by the way. Oh, I imagine he's an extremely melee boy. Humphrey is extremely slow. Oh yeah. He's a brick wall, but he's super slow. Oh yeah, like, I, I went through the stats very... very quickly. Humphrey's whole thing is he goes last. Uh, but yeah, Humphrey... is stronger than Rio. Uh, am I gonna do that one side quest? Yes, I will. I don't know how much I'll use the character, actually, because they are extremely broken, but I will do that optional quest. Yeah, Fudge is a character that you might slap, like, an Earth Rune on. Fudge is pretty middle of the road. Like, he I just... you to slap a couple, um, since he can actually use a lot of spell slots faster than other people can, that are pure physical types, he can get, like, a double beat rune and a killer rune, and then he just goes to work. All right, so the patch just straight up gave returning characters the runes that they had on in the first game. Nice. Yep, that makes sense, because I think we used Humphrey for a little bit, and I slapped a... Uh... Probably put a killer rune on him. Yep. All right, here we are at the mountain. Uh, this is a pretty lengthy dungeon, so we're going to call it here. And uh, next time... We do this, we, we go back to Muse, which we kind of left Miklatov there for a while. And yeah. See you then. Have a good night.